Back at docking port one. And we're docked. Good to be back in our own ship. Welcome aboard the UC Vigilance. Did you have any questions before I escort you to the Commander? All right. This way, please. So, you're the vanguard that took down that Terramorph on Tau City. You've made quite an impression around here. Everyone upstairs is talking about it. Damn. Condes on level two. Hell of a firefight. To I almost regret damage. missing out on all the fun. Of course, we don't normally see that kind of action on the vigilance, but we have our moments. All right, Vanguard. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Akande should be waiting for you. Good luck. Yes? Can we try and focus on the matter at hand, please? Ah, there you are. Commander Kibwe Kande, UC Sistev. Glad to have you aboard. I was beginning to think you were having second thoughts about Commander Duala's offer. It appears he certainly picked the right person for the job. So, now that you're part of the team, allow me to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center, dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Good. I have just... Our intelligence has managed to find a possible... She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. You'd better hope so. Sersha won't be easy to dupe. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Eager to get going? Good. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here and good luck. You have your orders. <clears throat> All right, we don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. For the sake of the settled systems, 
I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. Then you'll understand why it's so important that this operation is successful. Anyway, before I let you go, there's just one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return as compensation for your efforts. Commander Akande came up with the idea. He was concerned you might not help us simply because it was the right thing to do. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden, and with any luck, She'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Let me know if you need anything else. It is interesting to recall that this is where humanity first reached out into the storm. Watch out for the robots. Do you imagine anyone actually enjoys living here? I simply cannot. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security sticking their noses into. I can probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Whoa, way too hot for me. That stuff is nothing but bad news. Why don't you take your shipment and try somewhere else? If the Trade Authority is not interested, that says a great deal. No, they're right. What they didn't tell you is that I have a self-preservation streak a kilometer wide. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. Hmm. You got a point there, love. All right, I'll take a chance. Just demand the extra credits up front next time. These games are juvenile and tiresome. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. We got lots of stuff. Just ask. A friend offered me a nice cushy office job, but I'm... Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. 
But you're going to have to do something for us first. You're a clever one, aren't you? Let's just say I have a certain influential affiliation. And leave it at that. Basically, you want that Aurora moved, I'm your guy. Right down to business, and no small talk. I like it. I see no good reason why we should have any extra dealings with the likes of you. Lady, if you want me to move that shipment for your pal here, you're going to do whatever the hell I want. You got that? Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Feel free to throw as many credits in my face as you want, but that isn't the point. We need to make an example out of this guy. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. Hello. All right then. my attention. I'll be here when you need me. I can help you with. Adler Camp. Adler, you said? Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Whatever. Uh, hey, now. <laughs> Take it easy there. Let me think about that person you mentioned. Uh, Adler, was it? Hmm? Oh, wait. You mean that Adler? Yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. Uh, I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? Come on! Give me a break! What the... Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now. Okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? Clearly this man has never seen how hard I can squeeze. Holy crap! Really? You do that for me? Wow! I don't even know what to say. Thank you. For everything. And don't worry. I'll never borrow anything from Adler again. I promise. If you are free soon, could we talk? Is something amiss? I wanted to thank you for giving me the chance to... You seem to be acclimating. I think none of us were expect. You have certainly become a vital... If I may, from what you have... I cannot tell if that is a cop. I have a very different background from... I have not shared much, but everyone knows.
Yes, exactly. For those that have not, Vladimir is the only... I lack... That is kind of you. You also have a lot. I, I am... I know this seems by a group I... Thank you. Discussing these... I wanted to thank you for not saying... I know that you said... Indeed it was. Thank you. What is it? I will watch your back. Something for me? There, would you look at that? I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Nice, nice. You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh. And I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. 